here we have a car again uh, that for the first 10 seconds drives at 40 km an hour and then in 9 seconds uh, accelerates uh, uniformly to 187 km an hour. We already calculated what these velocities are in meters per second because it's much easier to deal with SI units than to deal with different units at the same time. So in the VT graph um, I'm just going to draw that for the first 10 seconds you were at 11 meters per second. Flat line. Let's see, not change. Then in the next 9 seconds, you went up to 52 meters per second. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Two up here. That is our VT graph. Now let's look at the AT graph. The AT graph is the slope of the VT graph. Here we have zero acceleration because it's a straight line, the velocity did not change at all. Therefore our VT graph here is zero for the first 10 seconds. Then we started to accelerate with a certain slope. Now what slope did we have? look at the change in velocity in, or the change in time. So in these nine seconds here we had a velocity change of 52 minus 11 gives 41 meters per second. Therefore our acceleration which is constant from 9 to 10 because the slope was constant here is delta v over delta t which is 41 meters per second divided by 9 seconds which gives us 4 point five meters per second squared. Go up here, go up here. And our AT graph is done. Now well, let's look at the ST graph. The ST graph is the area under the VT graph. For the first 10 seconds we are at constant velocity so you can actually calculate pretty easily where we ended up at 10 seconds. Here is our 10 seconds. If you calculate that one, that is 11 is 11 meters per second times 10 seconds. So we are at 110 meters. 50, 25, 10, up here. We assume that we started at position zero. Now as velocity is constant, we know the slope of the ST graph must be constant. Because the other way around we would have slope. So the fir par first part of our ST graph is done. Now let's have a look where we are at the 19 seconds. Before we have to calculate that big area here. 
So the change in position from 10 to 19 seconds is my average velocity I had during that time half of 11 plus 52 times change at a time 9 seconds this one was meters uh, meters per second meters per second and uh, multiply by seconds I should end up with meters so I have 1 divided by 2 times 11 plus 52 31 times 9, 283.5. Now that was the change in position from here. So if you want to know where we are at 9 seconds, we have 14, 16, 18, 19 seconds here, we have to add that to wherever we have been before. So we add that to our 100 and that we had before and we end up at 393 393 so if we go up here that's almost at 400, 300 somewhere up here now we do know the slope at this point is 52 uh, meters per second so if I look here in one second go over here 52 uh, that's almost uh, a whole square up therefore my slope up here is something like this I know the slope here was this I could now calculate intermediate points if I wanted or I could try to immediately connect those two points because I know the slope constantly went up therefore I get something like a parabola in my ST graph let's try to well, connect them directly of course the more time you have and the more intermediate point, points you calculate the better your slope is going to look